In breaking news, we've received reports of an explosion somewhere north of the city. We're still waiting for the police to confirm if there are any victims. This story is evolving rapidly. Please bear with us. We are just really loud. Uh, Boom. There was smoke. Come and on, emergency nah. services have confirmed that they've discovered a body buried in the wreckage. We're still waiting for further details. It appears that a large portion of the building has actually collapsed. Hey, WB Montreal, give it to me! Gotham City earlier today. We are now able to confirm that billionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne is... Code black. What the shit? If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. Huh. Is that Jason? This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. That's... We both know it won't take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. I call bullshit. And you Fuck can't you. Count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. Gotham will need its protectors more than ever. I'm leaving you the Belfry as base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my Ooh, files. Dan Tim? Tim or Damien? You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. So it's a continuation of Arkham Knight. Oh, Jason. Show me Jason's costume. Fuck yeah. Oh, look at them! Ah, oh, the fam. Yeah, that's Tim. Please be awesome on release. I mean, it's, it's WB Montreal, so I know it's gonna be hype. Oh, the boy! Wow. them that was awesome What's no this? one talks about them at them. For if you try to crush them, then the town strikes you dead. That shit looks awesome. I'm Patrick Redding. Wow, that was so awesome. Happy. We're both from Please Warner Brothers Games Bruce Montreal, Wayne. and we're both thrilled to finally be able to show you Gotham Knights. You may be wondering why we chose to tell this story and focus on these characters. We wanted to shake up the status quo of Gotham City. We wanted to see what happens when you take away the safety of Batman's presence, 
and then find out what happens. What happens when these Hope heroes, not the really family, dead, Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood, and Robin have to step up and take on the role on, of new protectors way. of Gotham. What's truly exciting about Gotham Knights is that you, the player, will be able to okay. read these characters how you see fit. You get to see how you would step up and become Gotham's protector. You're not Yeah, I hope I really hope Batman's not really dead. As a bonus, we brought gameplay footage. This is captured Ooh. in engine from a recent build, and we just can't wait for you to see this. Take a look. All right, give it to me. All gameplay footage you are about to see was captured from a pre-alpha game build. God, please don't kill off Batman. Don't do that. I need. I, I really need Arkham Batman to meet Superman. Starting off with Batgirl, all right. Belfry, Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is. Which sounds like a different voice actress. Sounds good though. That's what the bike's for. Sounds like a different outfit too, but that's okay. I'm digging it so far. Robin joined the session. That's interesting. Online multiplayer? I'm gonna have to watch this again on YouTube. When it's not being streamed over the internet. Sure, it looks so much better. Oh, you see Robin. Yeah, Batgirl's mask looks awesome. If he wants a fight, he'll get it. <laughs> okay. XP. I gotta say, despite despite the video feed being streamed over, looks good. Especially for considering it's an alpha. Animations are pretty solid. The wall run confirmed. I see she's getting XP. Is this online multiplayer? I wouldn't be mad at it if it was. Ooh, Renee Montoya, nice. Hmm. The storm is getting worse. You need to hurry and find a way inside Elliot Center. The GCPD chopper made that part easy. Still very Arkham. This doesn't look up to code. I hope this is going to run at 60 FPS on consoles. Nice particle effects. Nice destruction physics. Well, oh, that was a little toppy. I saw that. If anyone asks, I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Yeah, much like Injustice, it looks like you can customize their outfits as you go. Wars were still going on when Freaks came through. Those poor people. They didn't stand a chance. Hey, he, he's Tim is looking more like Red Robin over here. Oh. What was that about? Was, it, was that just like a... Was that also in-game? That's what they said, right? This will only take a second. I wonder what's that about. Local co-op? Local co-op? Bring up the volume a little bit. This backer looks awesome. 
Kind of, ma kind of makes me wish that we had the gear system in Injustice 1. The score is really interesting. I like that a lot. Wow, could you imagine how much more polished this is going to look and feel like once we finally get our hands on it next year? say whoever whoever a voice actor is she's doing a really good job can't get over her mask I wonder if they... I kind of wonder if the Court of Owls is going to steal Bruce Wayne's body and make him into a talent. That'd be really cool. That way you can have... That way you can have your story without Batman. And then have the satisfaction of knowing that he's not really dead. Look at that mask and that costume. Get away from my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off. Trust me. Erotic. Facial animations are awesome. I have what I need. Yeah. The storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. Ooh, boss fight. See about that. You cannot run from me. So yeah, okay, so it's just it's just what I thought. The white health bar on the bottom is her health. But what's the purple? Might be for like abilities or something, right? Robin's just standing there watching him. Oh, that was so good! That was so good. Thank you so much, Patrick and Floor. That was really good. All this info. I for one can't wait to play it. I'm sure everybody at home can't wait to play it. Speaking of everyone at home, before you take off, if that's okay, uh, we'd like to answer a few fan questions. Yeah, cool. Oh uh, boy. Uh, Callum from the UK asks, uh, what has driven you the most in the direction of this game? Wow. Well, I'd say really there have been kind of three consistent ideas at the heart of Gotham Knights. Um, first is having like a whole cast of playable characters that can Jason Todd, please. and reinvent themselves. Uh, second, a real living, breathing Gotham City that keeps challenging you, keeps serving up danger. Uh, and then finally, it's that fantasy of the superhero team up and we want to be able to deliver I that. wonder if we'll be able to get like injustice style gear uh, Alistair from Kenya asks what goes into deciding which characters you are going to develop a game around well we chose characters who resonate with players on a few different axes we wanted heroes who embodied different aspects of the bat family the detective side, as well as the fighter, the scourge of the underworld, the urban legend. A red hood looks really good. That offer players a unique starting point and then a long runway for growth. Ultimately, we wanted heroes that could take on the forces that threaten Gotham City, but each bringing their own unique perspective. Gotcha. Okay. Um, now we have Riley from the United States. Homegrown, homegrown. Uh, Riley from the United States asks. <laughs> Could you give anything more on this uh, WB Games Montreal game? Any other little tidbits? We're 
actually sort of standing in it. Um, the Belfry will be a very important location in Gotham Knights. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta keep a few secrets. We're gonna have more to talk about later. We can't Fair enough. Tell you this. The mystery in Gotham Knights is way bigger than just the Proto Uh, Well, is there, is there. Yeah, I'm calling it. Bruce Wayne's not dead. Hell no. To know. Our game is coming out in 2021, and we can't wait for everyone to play it. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Patrick and Floor, for sharing everything that you have uh, to everybody out there. I hope you've been enjoying DC Fandom. Continue to enjoy. Good DC shit. That was awesome. Fandom. I'm Zachary Levi. Mwah. Love you. That was great. Hell yeah, I'm buying that shit on release.